was um, so heartrending to see the first act that we were all proud of decades back in this degraded condition. And I think no particular group should be blamed. All of us should be blamed for this uh, dilapidation. Um, so revealing is the fact that the encroachments and illegal structures are springing up by the day without adequate enforcement. So first and foremost, the partnership which was secured yesterday with the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide um, Sonwolu, will go a long way in assisting this community. It is all about community. It is not even about the revenue accruable to government this time around. The second phase, if I may jump to that, is equally very, very lamentable. The second phase of FESTAC. Very lamentable. Lamentable in the sense that even as they have been, they have dragged themselves to court over the legality and illegality of occupation by the company that was um, concessioned, you know, the land, and um, the Omoniles, the chieftaincy families, the families that are claiming the land, they still continue to build. We are coming from there now, we saw it. And that shows that something has to be done quickly. Which comes to the question you ask and the answer you are going to get now. On our own part, as FHA, we are going to inform the authorities. Some of the law enforcement agents are with me here, the SSS, the police, and one or two other agents that I won't want to disclose, disclose their identity. They are with us here, and they've taken their own report as well. I, I want to um, appeal to our people. I, earlier today, myself and my ED, Honorable Abdul Mumuni Jibrin, have spoken with uh, the staff. They have pledged their loyalty and commitment to this project. They have pledged their total commitment to the vision of uh, President Muhammadu Buhari and the Honorable Minister, Mr. Babatunde Raji Fashola SAN, towards ensuring that the urban regeneration and urban renewal of this estate in totality is achieved. It may not be almost immediately. It may not be in one year. It may not be in two years. But I'm telling you, we are going to hit the ground running. You are going to be seeing some of the things that will make life a little bit better for the people here in Festac. Both one. On the other side, we can't do much because of the litigation on the new, um, the second phase of, um, the new phase two of Festac. Um, all in all, I'll tell you, it's been a revealing, interesting, intriguing, and heart-rending um, inspection. But I'm leaving home with one thing. I'm leaving home, I'm leaving this place with the fact that we are coming back again. Our eyes are going to be on Festac, and it is going to be on the priority list of the tripartite agreement between the government at the federal, at the center, the federal government, the state government, and the agency, Federal Housing Authority. And of course, not leaving out the people. You can see that some of the um, um, members of this unique estate are here now, shedding sweat out, 
sweating it out here. You know, this is the only place they have. And look at it, look around you. We are looking at a situation where we will get some well-meaning Nigerians, corporate bodies, individuals, come together and buy into this meeting stadium. Yes, a, a little token might come, but the principal motive for giving it out will not be for that money-making venture. It is going to be for something that will be enough to maintain the place and let the people own it. The people that, that are going to be using it own it. Uh, the place is not, you know, uh, out of uh, redemption. If you look around, you know, we can still do a lot here within a short period. And um, we are talking to some well-meaning people.